Highlighted in green here, we have the first bone of the skull that we'll be covering. It's called the frontal bone. Um, there's not much to the frontal bone in terms of structures uh, for the test and for quizzes, just two items. Um, the first is located right here, kind of in between where you would imagine your eyebrows would be. You can also see it from, sorry, you can also see it from the side. Right about there, just a slight protrusion in between the eyebrows. Um, again, that's called the glabella, G-L-A-B-E-L-L-A. -L -L the second structure um, is kind of an odd one. It's tough, it's tough to introduce right off the bat without having talked about a few other concepts. So uh, there's a word in anatomy that we'll use quite a bit called a process, uh, P-R-O-C-E-S-S, -S, process. You'll see this used quite a bit. Typically, a process is a piece of a bone that touches another bone. So if you look right here, we see a little suture. And that's a suture in between the zygomatic bone and the frontal bone. There's also, you can see a suture here, which is a suture between the zygomatic bone and the maxillary bone. And then you can see another suture here which is a suture between the temporal bone and the zygomatic bone. Now, I see three connections, three sutures. That means there's gonna be six processes in this little picture, one process on either side of the suture. So this area right here is a process and it's named for the bone it's touching. So this piece of bone is touching the zygomatic bone. So we're gonna call that right there, we're gonna call that the zygomatic process of the frontal bone. Now, over here, this area, this is a part of the temporal bone, but it's touching the zygomatic bone. So we're going to call it the zygomatic process of the temporal bone. And if you were gonna guess what this is called, you would probably thinking zygomatic process of the maxillary bone. So we actually have three zygomatic processes. Uh, the only one we're technically covering right now is this one right here. This is a zygomatic process of the frontal bone. And that's it for the frontal bone, pretty simple. Um, since we're just getting started, let me show you one more thing. So let's say I tag the glabella on a test. Let's say I put a X right there, or maybe I did I did something like this, put a line here. Um, you might be going through the quiz quickly and might write frontal bone. And depending on how the, I ask the question, you may not be wrong. So basically when you see a quiz question, what you're looking for, does the quiz question say identify this bone or does it say identify this bone structure? So if the question said identify this bone, the answer would be frontal bone. If it said identify this bone structure, the answer would be glabella. Um, now, if I was tagging the frontal bone, I wouldn't hopefully be that mean and put the tag right on the glabella, but you never know. Um, I might put it right here, thinking that's a good spot, and you may see it being close to the brow line and make a mistake and write glabella. So just pay attention to the question. If it says ID this bone, I'm asking for the name of the whole bone. If, it's, if I say ID this bone structure, I'm asking for the specific structure underneath the mark. So that could either be the glabella or this area right here, the zygomatic process of the frontal bone.